Hello, I'm Tamás from Polygon Flow. In this video, I will show you how to use the procedural tools in Dash to create a complex custom asset in Unreal Engine 5. This can also be done with PCG, but with Dash, it is much easier and faster. I will create a nice bridge with ropes and some vegetation. So let's jump in. First, I draw a curve using the curve tool. I set the distance so that it is placed perfectly with the two cubes. Next, I will scatter some planks. By opening the Dash content browser, I have access to my downloaded fab and quixel bridge assets, among other things. I select the plank models and, while holding down Ctrl, drop them onto my selected curve. I choose the Scatter on Selection option, which creates a path scatter. I can adjust many properties of the scattered assets. First, I set the rotation, then the density. I then repeat the process and create another path scatter with a wooden post. And in the density settings specify that I only want one per point on the curve. A bit of tweaking. And after this in the parallel width section, I double the number of rows by adjusting the distance. Then selecting the planks again, I make sure the pin icon is enabled so that the tools panel for my wood planks stays open. Under the proximity mask section, I use the post as a proximity mask in my path scatter for the wood planks. This way, if I create a new curve point, the planks won't intersect with the posts. Now let's create the bridge ropes. For this, I will use the quick pipe tool. In the tools panel, I add my curve and adjust the parameters as needed. Here, I also use parallel width to duplicate them. Let's raise the blanks a bit. I downloaded the rope material, which I simply drag onto my quick pipe. For the handrail ropes, I will use the cable tool. I select Curve Mode and add my curve. I can adjust the height and gravity, then repeat the parallel width and apply the material to these cables as well. The next step is to grow plants on the posts. From my downloaded assets, I select the English Ivy pack and while holding down Ctrl, I drag it into an empty space in the scene. I choose the Place Grid option. From there, I select the two assets I need. From the Dash toolbar, I select the Surface Scatter option and add the selected assets to the Scatter section. I set the posts as the surface, then adjust the density and scale. In the Feature Masking section, I set the masking height. I repeat the same process for the ropes. I also want some vegetation around the posts. For this, I select a few assets, hold Ctrl and drag and drop them onto this cube. I select Scatter here. Then I set the posts as the proximity mask and invert the mask. This way, the vegetation will follow the posts on this cube. And I do the same with some rocks. Finally, I want a few vines hanging from the bridge and will again use the path scatter. I'm 
using the remove mask here and once again I use the post as the proximity mask. By holding down Alt I can add new points to the curve. This bridge was just a simple example of how Dash can be used, but the use cases are endless. I discover new, useful and interesting tools in the plugin every day. Feel free to experiment. You can try Dash for free. If you like this video, consider following our YouTube channel and joining our Discord server as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.